Oh hey guys and welcome to another video and today we are going to talk about how we could all probably do a better job than some publishers when it comes to designing book covers. Yes, today we are going to do the ugly covers tag. I was actually going to do the beautiful covers tag and then I looked through my bookshelf and I think I found about three so I probably won't be doing that one. But I did find quite a few ugly ass books so I'm just gonna show them to you. The first one we have is Tender Morsels by Margot Flanagan. Flanagan? Flanagan, I think. You might have seen this book with another cover and that is sort of the cartoon depiction of a girl hugging a bear in a suggestive manner because that apparently happens in this book. But this book pretty much sums up what I hate about covers and that is floating head syndrome. I mean, I know they've tried to make this one a bit better. She looks quite artistic, she, like she's sort of made out of stone or painted on. But generally, just a floating head really says nothing about the book. I would probably actually prefer the bear hugging one because at least that does tell you something about the book. Plus, I guess it would be one of those fun ones to just sort of leave around and see if people notice. They probably think you're a huge weirdo, but it would be quite funny, let's be honest. The next one I have is going to be Storm by Bridget Kemmerer, and this is a shame because I really like this series. This is the Elemental series, but these are just not good. They're just, oh. In her defense, I think she was actually a self-published author before these were actually picked up. And they do have some new covers that are quite better, but at the moment we have these. And because each book is told by a different character, they basically just do the same thing on each book and they kind of get worse as they go along. This is the sequel. This one is the worst, I think. It's just, eesh. Actually, this one's pretty bad. He doesn't even blend into the background, guys. I mean, it's not good. The next one I have is Life After Life by Kate Atkinson and this book I just I don't know like it's got a fox on it and it's got a bunny on the back I mean what does that really tell you? It's disappointing because I've actually seen a better cover of this I believe it here somewhere with a rose and I know the story is sort of about somebody who is sort of immortal she'll die but then she'll come back to life and that is sort of like represented with the rose where it's just continuous and there's no end or there's no end to the stem. But this one is just, I mean, bland. Very, very bland. The next one we have is another one of my favorite series and that is Game by Barry Liger. This is the sequel to I Hunt Killers. There's nothing too bad about the cover, but the basic premise of this story is a group of characters are trying to figure out why a certain serial killer is choosing particular victims. And it's made up to be this huge mystery and you just look at the cover and you go, okay, it's a hand playing with some dice. He's playing a game. It was such a huge spoiler that it really did detract from the whole mystery and I was disappointed by that. Also this has something under the dust jacket and while I'm looking at this on camera now it doesn't look too bad but in person it looks really tacky I guess and like this is just the weirdest shaped hand I have ever seen. It's just... ugh. Ugh. Next we actually have another of one of my favourite YA series and that is the Tomorrow When the War Began series. This is one of the sequels. Basically they've brought out these now in new covers but when I first started reading them these were the covers. I mean I think they were published in the 90s or something like that. Credit where it's due. This was first published in 1997 I believe and there are very few 90s books with good covers. Makes it look so young like so really young. This is all this is a book all about war and death and killing people. The little camouflage at the bottom, it's just, it's not good, it's not good. Now we have the worst cover I have probably ever seen in my life. I bought this book at a charity shop because I do want to read it, but the cover is just, <sighs> and that book is going to be The Robber Bride by Margaret Atwood. This is obviously another old cover, but can we, can someone explain to me what is going on? Looks like some kind of woman is transforming into Big Bird while riding a huge blue pigeon. Hideous. Absolutely hideous. The last one I have to show you is going to be an ugly cover with a twist and that is uh, Oryx and Craig by Margaret Atwood. I'm not a huge fan of this cover but underneath the dust jacket you have this lovely green thing with like specks on it and it took me the longest time to figure out that they actually are bunnies. If you look really close, they're uh, bunnies with purple ears and pink eyes. 
when I first saw that, my mind was blown. I mean, I was just staring and I'm like, oh, colourful, lovely. So there you have it, that is going to be the end of the ugly covers tag. I'm not going to tag anyone because this tag's quite old, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already done it by now. So that is going to be all from me for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it one of those thumbs up, and I shall see you soon with another video. Goodbye.